Hello and welcome. I am the Student Tie Dip and Shoe Guy, and this is my number 12 review of Series 1. Series 1 being long cut straight. And in the 12th slot is Kayak Long Cut Straight. Um, let's take a look at the packaging. It is a plastic can with plastic lid, a rather reflective sticker on that lid. The lid does have a raised rim around the side, um, somewhat like the Red Seal. Thicker, actually. The rim is actually thicker. All right. Oh, right to manufacturer's information. It is a product of Swisher International. Uh, same Swisher as Swisher Sweets, the uh, cigars, cigarellos. If you see the 100% there, that is because this is 100% domestically grown tobacco, which is a good thing after two reviews of products that had 100% imported tobacco of questionable quality. Okay, it is a uh, 1.2 ounce can. Uh, I said that about everything in the first videos. Uh, I stopped saying that because all of these cans that I'm reviewing are 1.2 ounces. There are some products that are in a different um, net weight size. I will point out the fact when, when, when we get to those products. Anyway, it is a Swisher International product of Wheeling, West Virginia. Barcode, warning label, and branding. All right. And the fact that it's straight and 1.2 ounces, as I said. On the back, nothing. Absolutely nothing. No code, nothing. Sorry, Bergs, I can't even work you into a sentence on this one. There is no code on this. Um, Kayak has a bit of a reputation, and I realize that. Uh, at the same time, though, I have never had Kayak. So I am only going on what I've, what I've heard, uh, which isn't really fair to it. After the last two reviews, Derringer and Decade, uh, this stuff is going to have to be pretty darn awful to uh, drop below them. So I'm going to crack this can because this is actually <laughs> the first take. There you go. And let me see if I can find the... Okay. Some people like the sound of these opening up. I don't even know if that's registering on this computer. Oh, man, I got to the barcode again. Every time I get to the barcode, that must be where the labels meet and overlap. Because every time I get to a bar label in one of these plastic cans, it's like full stop. So there you go. The can is getting opened in a video. All right? Because I know guys like seeing the can opened, like large pinches of tobacco... Actually, I, I don't know. Should I put it in slow mo? It's like dip porn. I, I don't get it, but you know, whatever. As I said, though, at the outset, this channel is not about entertainment. Okay. Moisture level's good. It is a very, very dark brown. Uh, it smells it smells like a, a, a pungent straight, and there is a little bit of an artificialness in the background, but nothing like the previous two reviews where there was a scent of alcohol. That's what I called it. The cut seems consistent. I'll show you the product in the can there. It's, it's pretty darn dark. It's actually very close to how the camera's reading it. 
Moisture level's okay. I'm not sure about the cut yet, but I'll tell you in a second here. The cuts, it's not the greatest, but you know, it is what it is, I suppose. Oh. Uh, Oh, dear God. <laughs> Crap. Okay. I'll be back in a second. Okay, I'm back. It's not that bad. I mean, it's 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 not the greatest. It's not something I would... Uh, I'm not suggesting I'm going to switch to it from Stokers or anything, but it, it's really not that bad. And having had Decade and Derringer in the review line right before it has probably done it a big favor. But it's, it's not terrible. Um, there's a slight artificialness. The cut is not great, but you know what? I, it's probably, let me take a look at it again. I mean, it, it's on par with the Pinkerton products cut wise. It's just a really short, long cut, uh, but it is consistent. It's moist enough. Pinching wasn't terrible on it. I mean, I made a mess, but, you know, it's really not that bad. It's not overly sweet. Um, it's spiced, and I guess it's sweetened, but it's not, like, real, like, sweet, sweet. Um, there's no tang. But on the other hand, there's not a bitterness, and there's definitely not a weird alcohol background going. I, I really did not like that at all, if, if you haven't been able to tell already. Um, the can lid, it gives a little bit of a bend, but that rib they've put around it has made it a little more sturdy. It's not quite as sturdy as the plastic lid on Red Seal, but it's like the can itself doesn't give much play either. And between the two, I'd be okay with that in my front pocket if I was working or whatnot, it's not terrible, you know, and it's, and oddly it's priced just a little bit higher than the Derringer and Decade. I mean, the Decade's running a deal for a dollar nine, but the Derringer, it, it's, it's right like 75 cents higher than those two. And it, it's way, way better. I mean, if you're scrounging for money in the seats of your car out front some convenience store, all right, keep scrounging for three more quarters so you can upgrade to the kayak instead of the decade, all right? Kayak, I, I'm, I've always wondered about that name. If anybody knows why kayak, like what's the connection to rural America dipping and kayaks? Boats? Kayaks? I believe their old labels actually had a kayak on there. I, I, I always wondered about that. It just seems like a weird... I, I, I can't see the connection with that. If you know, leave a comment. Um, this has been the review of Kayak. Long cut, straight, moist snuff. It's all right. Let me run through the things real quick. The flavor, as I said, it's not overly sweet, but it's not bitter either. Um, nicotine, I really haven't had it in long enough. Uh, I'm thinking there's something there. When this video ends, I am going to leave it in. I will probably use the can up, uh, unlike the last two, which they're still sitting over here, but they're going to be treated with extreme prejudice shortly. Um, I think the nicotine content's there. I, I mean, I don't have an urge to do anything else right now. I, I, I'm not going to go smoke after this video is done. I'm not going to take this out and put another different product in. So that, to me, signals that there's something going on there. Consistency in the mouth is pretty good, actually. It's staying formed. I moved it around. There was a bit of a trail, so you're going to have floaters. But it, it's staying formed and it's comfortable. All right. Again, though need to point out it is not overly sweet or it's not presenting itself as sweet it's obviously sweetened but 
it's not like, oh, hmm, this is pretty sweet. Yeah. There's no smokiness. There's no tanginess. It's pretty just a pretty much a sort of straight, straight. S sort of just in there. Um, but it's all right. It's all right. Um, mouth feels good. Gum, lip, it's comfortable enough. As I said, there are going to be some, some floaters, but you know. Anyway, it has been the kayak long cut straight review. Again, I am the suit and tie dip and chew guy. I am sorry these videos are still running as long as they are. And I am sorry that they are a bit rambling at times. I am doing these now in one take because that's the number of takes my computer will let me do. So minor things that I would have done a reshoot of for mistakes before, I just roll with them now. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe if you're getting anything out of these videos. I am shooting to get these videos down to seven or eight minutes. It just never seems to happen. Anyway, thank you very much. Do take care of yourselves and God bless.